Today is all about chemical peels, at home chemical peels. So what are we gonna learn? We're gonna learn how do they work? What exactly do they do? Which peel is right for you? And I'll give you some of my favorites, but that's what is going on today. It's all about chemical peels. So I don't want you guys, oh my gosh, if you saw my workspace, all of the products that I have to show you, but I don't want you guys to be afraid of this because they are made for at home use. I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. Um, I'm not getting stuff like on Amazon and trying to do stuff that should be done in an office, but these are peels that if done consistently at home will literally change your skin. So today we're gonna go over the at home chemical peels. We wanna find out what do they do like how do, exactly does it work? Um, what exactly, what, what exact type of peel is right for your skin? And I'm gonna give you some of those suggestions. So we're learning all about that. I want you guys to really understand, like when you go and shop for a chemical peel, this is not the time to cheat off of your neighbor's paper, right? So you don't want to use the same skincare as your your friend just because your friend says oh my gosh you have to try this it's so good if your friend has a different skin type than you and different concerns you want co something completely different so we're going to go over all of that stuff today i'm super excited before i do that though i want to announce the winner from last week so the winner from last week um who won this uh, red light therapy uh, eye mask along with the caffeine sheet mask that is uh, rachel seven leo i'm, I'm going to try to see if i see her on here but rachel seven leo you are the winner of the caffeine sheet mask and the red light therapy eyeglasses um and then today up for grabs which i'll repeat because we're having people just kind of join now but today up for grabs is um, the Perfect Cleanser by uh, the Perfect Derma and uh, well, along with the Hyaluronic and Peptide Serum and a Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. So this is what is up for today. So if you go ahead and hit that little invite button on the bottom right corner, it's right down there, it's the little arrow, and invite three friends now. You've just done your first step to be in that drawing. Again, the winner of last week's drawing was Rachel Seven Leo, and I'm gonna be sending these out to her, so make sure that you get me um, that your, your mailing address, and I'll put, pop these in the mail uh, tomorrow. Yeah, on Monday. So today, like I said, is all about the chemical peel. So how do they work, what do they do, and what type of peel is right for your skin? That's what we're going over. So there's basically three types of chemical peels. So there's the AHAs, the BHAs, and the PHAs. So it's alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and polyhydroxy acids. We're really only going to concentrate today on the AHAs and the BHAs. And the reason is the polyhydroxy acids are already in a lot of your skincare. So that's like in your vitamin C serums and things like that. Um, some of the face cleansers have the polyhydroxy acids in them. But for at home chemical peels, we're really talking about the alpha hydroxy acids and the beta hydroxy acids. And these are two very different things treating very different issues. So first we're gonna talk about the alpha hydroxy acids. Now these are the glycolic acids. These are the ones that are basically the most common because they you can use this on normal or combination skin. So this is by the ordinary, this is like glycolic acid 7%. You would simply put this on a cotton swab and apply it to your face. So there's you, you just need to make sure that you're reading the instructions for everything, but let me tell you first what these AHAs do. Okay, so for normal to combination skin, AHAs will do everything from fine lines and wrinkles. They will help with, um, with uh, melasma, so discoloration, so even up the skin tone, even up the texture. Um, and these can be done 
oh my gosh, I want to say up to twice a week. So AHAs are the most popular because they're really well tolerated with people who have normal skin um, and also uh, people with combination skin. So there's a lot of different products on the market. This one is a glycolic glow treatment. So of the AHAs, glycolic acid is the most commonly used. So that's one here. I already showed you this uh, toning solution. This you don't even have to wash off. Um, another favorite one that I like is this by Drunk Elephant. This is a, a TLC glycolic night serum. So I love this one as well. But there's a lot of different uh, glycolic acid peels at home. You just need to make sure that you're reading the instructions and this is what you want to use when you're, when you're dealing with fine lines and wrinkles and anti-aging properties. Now, when we're talking about um, people that have a little bit more sensitive skin, so if your skin is, um, you know, you get irritated a lot, you're gonna look for something that has a slightly bigger molecule. So the glycolic acids are still in those AHAs. They have a smaller molecule, so they're being able to penetrate more deeply. So you're gonna get a better result with the glycolic acids. But if you have a little bit of sensitivity, you're gonna to wanna to look for like a lactic acid. So the ordinary makes a lactic acid 10%. This is a slightly larger molecule. And when you have a slightly larger molecule, it's not gonna penetrate as deeply, right? Um, and then this is also um, one that I like. This is a squalling lactic acid resurfacing night serum. Um, so this is good as well. And then we're gonna talk about, when we get into um, to things that are like a little bit like your neck area. Like, I don't know about you guys, but as I've aged, like my neck is so ultra sensitive that you wanna kind of look for stuff like a mandelic acid. I don't have any of those with me right now, but in a mandelic acid, it's still within the alpha hydroxy acid categories. And those are bigger molecules. So if I were to do a peel on my neck, I would look for something that was like a, a mandelic acid for, for something on your neck. And then you're gonna have a lot less irritation. So if your skin is super sensitive, you're looking for a mandelic acid. If you're kind of in between, you're just kind of starting out, the lactic acids are really a good place to start, but you know, the tried and true are the, the glycolic acids. So in the AHAs, the glycolic acids are, are pretty much in everything. And again, that's like anti-aging and just general overall. But the reason why we're using them, so let's just go over quickly, how do they work? The acid changes the pH of your skin and the bonds that connect the skin cells together get loosened. And so what happens is the skin cells that are on the top, it's, it affects everything from the epidermis to the dermis. So the dermis lays right underneath the epidermis and it breaks the bonds between skin cells. And that's, yes, tell us, didn't know the difference. Yeah, so that's, this is basically what happens is it breaks those bonds in between the skin cells and then the ones on the surface um, end up sloughing off and then you get this bright, you know, refined, less wrinkled, more even tone and texture skin that comes out. So those are the AHAs, but like, but acids across the board work the same. They work to break those bonds. So now let's go to the BHAs. BHAs are a godsend for people that have acne. Um, even if you don't have acne, BHAs are great. So I do combinations of AHAs and BHAs, which are the beta hydroxy acids. Um, and this one is by far my favorite. This is by Paula's Choice. It's a 2% BHA. And you use this with like a cotton pad and it unclogs pores, um, helps to shrink enlarged pores, smooths and even skin tones. It's lightweight and quickly absorbs, and this is a salicylic acid. So salicylic acid is BHA. Um, so Sophia says, I think I use BHA and AHA in the ordinary red stuff. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's just get into it. So today I'm gonna do um, a peel that is, a B, that is an AHA-BHA combo. 
And if you follow me on my social media platforms on TikTok or I'm on um, YouTube, which is Live Young Lifestyle, you'll see that I've done this peel before in, in, in uh, I think it was a TikTok. And so this is by The Ordinary. It's an AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. You leave it on your skin for five minutes. So I'm gonna get into it um, as we continue to talk about this. So there are some, when, you, when you're looking at BHA, so this is a combination, which I love, but when you're looking at BHA, this is a great one, like I said, the Paula's Choice. There's also a combination um, that they make, which is a 25% AHA and a 2% BHA. This is also a great peel. And then The Ordinary also makes a salicylic acid mask, which is a 2%. So these are all great products, but right now we're gonna do the one by The Ordinary that's kind of like the cult favorite. Um, and it is a 30% AHA and a 2% 2, uh, 2 BHA. So I'm gonna squeeze this into my little silicone cup because I don't like wasting the product and I, I don't really like to use my fingertips, especially when I'm gonna do it here. Um, so I have to time this for five minutes. So let's see, by the time I get it on. And this, all of these little products, the silicone cup along with these little things are on my Amazon store. So if you click in my link tree and click on the little icon of Amazon, you'll see all of these in there. Um, Sophia says, but if we don't have acne, is silicilic still important? Yes, um, absolutely, because it still refreshes. It's so it's a little bit less intense than the AHAs. So you can use this if you've got acne. You could use this daily, but remember the retinoids were literally discovered by trying to re to treat acne. So Retin A originally was an acne treatment, and then they realized, oh my God, it helps with wrinkles. So, you know, those kind of things that are made for acne, I use all of the time because there is a theory, and I believe it because it came from Dr. Obaji, who is like a rock star dermatologist, and I've had the privilege of interviewing him multiple times. You could do your, your skin a disservice if you are over moisturizing. So if you are continually putting a ton of moisture on your skin, what you're creating are lazy skin cells. So if you've got moisture on the top, let's just go over this real quick. If you've got moisture on the top, the, your, your, your dermis underneath is saying, oh, I, I already have moisture applied topically. I don't need to create my own moisture. So your skin cells become lazy. So that's why products like retinoids that dry your skin out actually help with cell turnover and help to with all phases of anti-aging. So do I use a BHA even though I don't have acne? 100%, I use this, I use this at least, I wanna say once or twice a week. I used this last night just because I'm trying out a new retinoid. So I, I used this with a cotton swab and just slept with it on. It's, it's very um, mild, so there's no stinging or anything like that involved, but man, does this thing do the trick. So I love that. So just remember that with the beta hydroxies, the only um, ingredient in beta, they're all salicylic acid in skincare. So when you're looking at ingredients, they might not say, they might not say BHA, um, but they'll say salicylic acid. Just know that is a BHA pr uh, product. Okay, so we're gonna do the Ordinary, which is a combination. I love combinations. This is a 30% AHA and a 2% BHA. This is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. I love it, and once I get it on, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the clock. Um, the other ones which are, so the glycolic acid are the most important for the alpha hydroxies. Then you do the lactic acid and then you, that's like a little bit of a bigger molecule. Mandelic acid still within the AHA is, is um, going to still treat all of the anti-aging signs but with less irritation. Then we move to the BHAs which is salicylic acid. Um, so this is gonna be like a little bit of a combo and I'm gonna have to kind of get into this mirror. Um, with these kind of peels, 
you should not be burning, okay? It is not something that's gonna sting like crazy. If it stings like crazy, you are using way too intense of a product. Does it tingle? Yes. Does it, you know, I don't even know. I wouldn't even say it, it stings a little bit, but burning is bad. Um, and solve five minutes of the live and you solve more problems in my derm. I <laughs> wonder what a one on set one on one session would be. That's such that's so cute. Yes, I love I my jam is the one on one sessions because we can get in there and do like a lot of work in an hour. So make sure you go to that link tree and click on the one on one consultations. We do it through zoom. We can do treatments. It's um, it's a lot that we can get done. So I need to make sure that I'm not gonna get this into my eyeballs. And I might end up just having to use my fingers just to make sure. So excuse me while I'm a little bit quiet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I get right up to my eyes, you guys. Um, I don't necessarily suggest this at home for your first time but I get, you can see how close to my bottom lid you can get. Um, do you happen to know of any great peels with mandelic acid? No, but what I can do, wait, do I? Maybe I do, maybe I do, huh, I do. Um, this is why I have notes here. Um, so the mandelic serum by Face Theory is a 10% mandelic acid. I'm gonna buy, I'm literally gonna buy that after this to do my neck. And also, Bion Mandelic has a 5% toner pads. So again, the Mandelic acid is still in the alpha hydroxy uh, acid uh, category, but it's a larger mo molecule. So it doesn't penetrate as deep. And so you're gonna get a lot less irritation. So if you have like problems around like your nose, your, um, sorry, around your eyes or around your neck where you know you're super sensitive, that is a good peel to use is a mandelic acid peel. Again, it's still in the alpha hydroxy category. Hold on, just gonna make sure I get a really good coat here. Now see, right now I have a little bit of stinging but it's not burning like crazy. My face isn't on fire. Do I feel it tingling and a little bit of burning? I do, I do, and that's normal. It's not something where you're, you know, you're gonna be screaming and crying and waving your hands around to try to cool it off. Not gonna happen. And I, I honestly, if you're not a dermatologist, you wouldn't want, you do not wanna do that at home. I'm just saying, you don't wanna do this. So now I have to keep an eye on the clock. Can somebody like tell me when it's five minutes? Because that's like the limit that you should keep this on. And I am gonna get right up to my eyes. So I have to be very, very still. Okay. I'm not on that water line, you guys, but I'm as close as one should probably get. And then I am gonna take a Q-tip and do a little bit under my eyebrow because as long as you're staying on that occipital bone and it's not drippy, so you, you wanna make sure that you're doing this in a very strategic way, you can get that a little closer to your eyes. Get right there. Yeah. And then get to the side. That's why I love these kind of little uh, silicone cups because you're not wasting product and it really allows you to apply things a little bit better than with your fingertips. I'm gonna get out here. Okay, so it's 11.28. I need to make sure that I wash this off in time. Um, what peel is that? Dimple Queen just asked. This is the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2%. So it's a combination of the alpha hydroxy acids and the beta hydroxy acids. Um, for In terms of like using it for normal skin, if you've got normal skin, normal anti-aging concerns, um, you're gonna wanna use the AHAs or a combination like I'm using here. This is a very popular peel. I keep my eye on the clock. 
Um, but this is a combination and I really love it because even if you don't have oilier skin, the BHAs are for oilier skin um, or acne prone skin. But remember, Retin-A was developed for acne. So some of these peels um, and some of the skincare products that treat acne like Retin-A, like all the retinoids that treat acne. Thanks, Sophia is giving me a timer. I have three minutes left. Um, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I push this a little bit um, because I, I just continually to, I continue to reapply. I'm gonna get on this, I, I'm gonna get on this eyelid. I am. You think this helps with crepey eyelids? It does, right? Just like putting your skincare as, you know, right on your eyelid or microneedling, as long as you're staying on that occipital bone, you can put a thin layer of this close to your eye, but obviously I'm using a big magnifying mirror. Um, so it probably looks a little closer to you guys. You do not want to get this in your eye. And whenever you, uh, you do this, you want to make sure that you have got a sink nearby, right? So my sink's right there. I am going to wash this off with these reusable um, pads, reusable uh, cotton pads with some warm water. And then I do have, let me just make sure I have everything handy. I do have a post, um, this is by the Perfect Derma. This is a post peel tow towelette and it will kind of just deactivate everything. So I'm gonna get the most of it off that I can with um, the water and then I will do this. Okay, so let's just kind of recap a little bit. Um, make sure that you're, you're sending that little request. It's right down there. Send that little request to three people to, to join you on this live. And then once I post it to my main feed, you'll be in the drawing for this amazing cleanser. Honestly, I love this cleanser. This is with plant stem cells, uh, um, azelaic acid and antioxidants by the Perfect Derma. I love this along with the hyaluronic peptide. This is a great um, product to put on post peel. And then of course, sunscreen. So you will be in the drawing for these three products if you invite three people right now, and once I post this to my feed, tag three more people. Wow, this just looks lovely, doesn't it? Um, you notice that I did not put this on my neck because my neck is super sensitive and this is way too strong for my neck. So I will be buying that um, mandelic acid uh, product to put on my neck, which will really um, do this. It will help with all of exfoliation with the fine lines and wrinkles. It will even stimulate collagen production and hyaluronic acid in a way that's not going to eat my neck up. So it's made more for sensitive skin. It's all about how big the molecule is, right? So the glycolic acids have a bigger molecule. Those are the most popular ones that are in, um, that are in all of the, the at-home peels are the glycolic acids. I've got a lot of different glycolic acids. Um, this one by Drunk Elephant, I love. And then you end, you go to, you know, the lactic acids, which are a little bit bigger molecule, still in the, in the AHA category, bigger molecule. They're a little bit made for more sensitive skin. And then the final one, the biggest molecule in the AHA is the mandelic acids. <clears throat> I got a question. Maybe everyone should warn their families before doing this. Yeah, my husband has walked in on me and he, when I have this on my face and he's like, what the, you know, what is going on? Um, so a little bit of warning. And then after that, so that's the AHAs, that's for normal accommodation skin. Okay, Sophia says, okay, mama, time is up. I'm, and I'm feeling this, I'm telling you, I'm feeling it, but it is completely doable. I'm going to try to wash this off here. If for some reason I feel like mm, this isn't working, then I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just have to step away and go to the bathroom that's right there and wash this off. But I'm gonna just take all of this off. I love these reusable pads because you can stick them in the washing machine. I might have to go to the bathroom and wash this off, but we're gonna try. We'll see what I can do. We'll see what I can do. Now, my, my face might be a little pink after this because, you know, I just, just did a, a peel. So how often would you do this? 
especially if you're using like retinoids and you want to make sure that you're still getting your skincare in, um, you can use this, these type of peels like twice a week. So I tend to do every Tuesday and every Saturday. That's a good way to do it is to pick a couple days of the week. Um, start with once a week, but you can go up to two, twice a week when you're talking about AHA at home peels. Sorry, I'm gonna get all this off and I might just like step into the bathroom real quick. But let's see. Um, will this live be here later? I'm going to visit a friend and I wanna watch it tonight. Yes, right after this, I'm gonna post it to my main feed. Um, thank you for your help, Sophia, in timing my my uh, my peel so that I didn't go over. Woo, yep, I can feel this working for sure. So I'll post this to my main feed right after this and then make sure if you're here, tag, three people on the, once it goes to the main feed, tag three people and you'll be in the drawing for this amazing azelaic acid cleanser by the Perfect Derma, as well as their peptide hyaluronic acid serum and their sunscreen. So that's what's gonna be uh, sent out to the next winner. And last week's winner, oh my gosh, where is the piece of paper? Was Sue. Let's see. Oh, Rachel Seven Leo was last week's winner. So Rachel, get me that your info and I will send that in the mail. So what we have learned today is there's basically three different types of major uh, acids that work to peel. So we have the AHAs, we have the BHAs and the PHAs. The PHAs we're not gonna, we didn't really talk about because Bye, Sophia. See you later. Because they're in most of the skincare. So those are already in skincare products. And so we don't, there's not a lot of, of, you know, peels at home that are, oh, I just dropped that, that are, um, the polyhydroxy acids, right? They're, they're mostly the AHAs, which work with glycolic acid, the lactic acid, the mandelic acid, and then you have the BHAs, which are more for oily or acne prone skin. And those are all salicylic acids. Okay, so, that, so that's kind of what we've learned today. Um, so when you're looking for, when you're looking for at home chemical peels, it's not a one size fits all. You really need to know your skin type. I'm gonna do this little thing right here. You really need to know your skin type so that you are choosing the right acid to treat your, your problems, right? If you've got clogged pores, if you have blackheads, if you've got, um, if you have acne prone skin, you wanna use a BHA or at least a BHA combo, right? This is a BHA, it's all salicylic acid. So when you see ingredients like salicylic acid in your skincare, that's already a BHA and you don't have to have acne prone skin in order to use this. I use this at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, um, because just remember products that were intended for acne have shown the best results in terms of fine lines and wrinkles. That's what Retin-A is. That's what all the tretinoin is. You know, all of those retinoids were, de were originally developed for acne prone skin. So both of them work. And I always suggest a combination. I love the combinations. Yes, I'll do the, 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 the plain ones, you know, the, the ones that are just the glycolic acids, which are the most popular, but I love the combinations of like the AHA and the BHA, such as this one or the Paula's Choice, which is a 25% AHA and a 2% um, BHA. These are great, great products. Um, Dr. Dennis Gross also does an alpha beta. So I love this because these are great to travel with, right? It comes like in this box. It's got a lot of different, um, I don't know how many are in here actually, 30. And you can take this with you when you travel and you've got one to exfoliate, you leave this on, and then you've got the second one. Um, so I really, really, really like these kind of products like that that work with just like the pad. 
Okay, what else are we doing here? Oh, I probably should. This is one another thing I wanna to talk to you about. You have, like, you don't wanna do all of this stuff. Wait, I have a question. Does tretinoin thin the skin? It doesn't, it actually thickens the skin. I know, it's, it seems counterintuitive because just like chemical peels, it breaks the bonds between the skin cells, allowing those dead skin cells to slough off. So your initial thought is, oh, it's making the skin thinner. It doesn't. Age alone will make the skin <laughs> thinner. Things that thicken up the skin are things like chemical peels that stimulate collagen. So if we're stimulating collagen and elastin, we're thickening up the skin. Um, things like microneedling, you know, creating those traumas that call your, your skin, uh, your, your body, the power of your body to come and self heal, those thicken up your skin. So tretinoin does not thicken up your skin, neither does chemical peels. It's a temporary thing. Right now I'm just soothing a little bit with some glycolic acid. I mean, sorry, hyaluronic acid. Not all acids are, um, are exfoliating. So hyaluronic acid is still an acid, but it's, it's a moist, it basically draws on all moisture. So after you get done peeling, just a little post care, after you get done peeling, you wanna make sure that you moisturize a little bit with, I like a glycolic, I mean, I like a hyaluronic acid. So when you get done peeling, you wanna make sure that you put a little bit of hyaluronic acid or your favorite moisturizer and kind of just let that get in there. So we just broke those bonds. We're gonna have some sloughing off a little bit. There's not a lot of downtime with these peels, you guys, because it's not like they're in office peels. So you wanna make sure that you're, you're, you're still doing your same skincare. To be honest with you, when I do a peel at night, like last night I just did this. Um, this is the Paula's Choice, the one that I love whether you have acne or not, this is a great product. It, it just brightens your whole skin. It does help with like um, melasma and spots that have happened due to like prior acne. So any little spots, age spots, this is a great, great product. You can get this on Amazon, but if you click on my Amazon store and link tree, you'll see that most of these products are in there. Um, but I love this product. So this one I put on last night, you don't even have to wash this off. So things like this, which are the salicylic acids, which are the beta hydroxy acids, you don't, you can use these like almost daily because it takes 28 days for those cells that are underneath to come up to the full cycle of a cell, of a skin cell, 28 days for them to go from the lower levels up to the top. So things like this, when you're dealing with clogged pores or melasma, skin discolorations, but also anti-aging stuff, these types of BHAs, the salicylic acid, you can use daily, love them. The other ones, the AHAs, which are glycolic acid, lactis, lactic acid, mandelic acid, those you wanna use like once or twice a week. And the way that I do those is I'll do a peel, like I just did this peel at night, and then I won't use my retinoids for that day. So I'll skip my retinoids that day. So usually when I'm doing um, like a tretinoin or something that has a retinol in it, I'll do three days on, I'll do a peel, let my skin breathe and do whatever it's gonna do that night, nothing else, just peel it and let it sit, and then in the morning, you'll see like your skin looks freaking amazing the day after uh, one of these little peels. Um, and then the next three days, I'll do tretinoin, 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 peel, tretinoin, 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 peel. That's my whole kind of schedule, what I do. Um, so somebody just asked for, looks like you didn't get the stuff all washed off. Really? Where? Oh no, that's under my eyes. So. You'll see that I've got some reddening under my eyes. That's because I got right in there. So the, the, the skin under your eyes is going to be more sensitive. Now, if I cared what I'd look like on camera right now to you guys, I wouldn't have gotten so close to my eyes. But that's why, um, that's why it's important that you use a peel that is specific 
for your skin. So what I could have done is I could have done this whole peeling solution on my whole face and not done around my eyes, or I could have done the lactic acid around my eyes or a mandelic acid around my eyes. And the lactic acid and the mandelic acid are bigger molecules. And so those molecules are not gonna go as deep. But right now, I'm gonna give you a close up. You can see the pink around my eyes. It's not gonna peel, folks. It's going to, it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna look great. Okay, so recap. Can we watch this from the beginning if we miss some of it? You can. Right after this, give me about 10 minutes, so I have to write the, camp, the caption. But right after this, I'm gonna post this entire thing to my live, I mean to my uh, Instagram uh, feed. Wow, having trouble with my words. Hold on. Um, so after this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the whole thing to my Instagram feed, and then you tag three more people there, and you will be in the drawing for the Perfect Derma Cleanser, which I love with uh, azelaic acid, and the, and the Hyaluronic and Peptide Serum, and an SPF 30. These are, these are all great post-peel. So this is a peeling company, this the Perfect Derma, but they make in office peels and so i i'm not going to do that at home in front of you guys so i want to give you guys bad ideas <laughs> but, but these are this is this is basically yeah what you're going to get but you have to tag three more people so if you haven't uh, gina just said the cleanser yeah this cleanser is pretty amazing it's by the perfect derma and it's called the perfect cleanser and it has plant stem cells azelaic acid and antioxidants so i love this it's great to wash everything off and then you apply the hyaluronic and peptide followed by a sunscreen. So I'm going to just put a little bit of sunscreen on now because I want to let you know it's super important. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. If you do nothing else for your skin, you need to do that. I'm applying a tented uh, sunscreen right now, which I love. This is by Ilya. It's an SPF 40. The reason why you wanna do a tented sunscreen, folks, if you can, and I know this is a little harder for men, but they do have like an Altadena, I mean, Alta, what is it called? Alta MD, sorry, I don't know where I got that from. They have an Alta MD that is a tented sunscreen that just has a little bit of tint in it. But I'm gonna tell you, if you, for, for your face, no matter what your skin type is, you always wanna use a tented sunscreen over factor uh, 30. So the reason why you wanna do that, oh good, Gina, so that you just did the first step, you tagged three people. Um, you can also invite them with that little arrow, uh, the little thing that looks like an, a send, you know, the send button that looks like a paper airplane. You can invite uh, people through that um, and then tag people, tag, tag three more friends when I post it to my feed. But let me tell you why a tented sunscreen post peel or any day is better. It has an added benefit of, you know, when you have a regular sunscreen, it has a zinc, like this has a zinc oxide in it. This has a different type of oxide, an ion oxide that protects your skin even more. Not only does it camouflage a little bit, but it protects your skin even more and helps treat discoloration. Come on. So I love this one by Ilya because it just goes on super, super lightweight. Um, but there's the interesting thing is when you use things like a BHA, um, so this is a BHA, right? A salicylic acid, let's just recap. Salicylic acid is BHA. Um, every salicylic acid that you see, when it has that on the ingredients, it's a beta hydroxy acid, right? That's the only type that's used in skincare is a salicylic acid. Um, these do not make you photosensitive. So you can still go out in the sun and it's not gonna be more sensitive, but any AHA is gonna be, you're gonna, your skin is gonna be more sensitive to sunburn. So why do the peel and then go out and screw your skin up by getting in the sun, right? So it's super important that after the peel, this is why I like to peel at night. I like to peel at night 
um, and then go to sleep and then um, you know you're you're not you're not really having to put something on right after the peel because I would rather my skin be able to breathe but it's not just immediately after so when like even days and days after weeks after if you're somebody that is peeling naturally your skin is going to be more sensitive to the sun so sunscreen 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 um, if you have not tagged your three people make sure that you tag them now or invite them with that little uh, paper airplane button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and that is the first step for you to be in the drawing for this amazing cleanser by the perfect derma called uh, the perfect cleanser all of their stuff is called the perfect something um, and this is with azelaic acid you've got a sunscreen here and you've got a hyaluronic and peptide serum so that's going to be for this coming winter um, make sure that once i post this to my feed which will happen immediately afterwards that you tag three additional people and you will be in the drawing for that giveaway next sunday does anybody have any suggestions for next sunday i kind of have a general idea of what i think i might want to do but i'm open to you guys' suggestions always um i'm want, i think i'm wanting to do something on the neck and decolletage just like last week we did younger looking eyes and i showed you all the multiple steps that you can take depending on what you're trying to treat eye bags crow's feet dark circles all of those treatments skincare and treatments are very different so just like when you're doing a peel all of those are uh color matching ilia yeah um this is honestly one of the best sunscreens that i've found because it's a super serum sun sunscreen it's a tent it's spf 40 it has niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid in it so it's a sunscreen tinted and it's treating win 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 um so i love that um but make sure that you're inviting your three people when I put it on my feed, tag three more people, your name will go in the drawing. Great stuff here. The winner from last week was Rachel Seven Leo, which won the caffeine mask. I don't see her on here today, but I'll get in contact with her. And the red light therapy eyes. If anybody has a suggestion um, for next week's live, what I'm planning on doing is all about the neck, right? So how do we, what kind of treatments can we do for the neck and the decolletage? Because your skin doesn't end here. It ends all the way here, right? Well, there's still body stuff. That could be a whole other live. But whenever you treat your, your skin at night and in the morning or peels or whatever, you kind of want to go all the way to here. Normally, I would do, if you look at my, my social media, I have a, a video where I did this on my full face and I did it on my chest. My neck is too sensitive, so I would do like a mandelic acid or a lactic acid on my neck. Uh, Big Julie Warner says, yes, please, neck. Oh, okay, right. Like, I don't know what happens. And I don't know if this happen has happened to you guys, but, you know, your neck ages, your decolletage ages, everything ages. But I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to use the same skincare on my face as, as on my neck. My decolletage, yes, I can do it this, but this part is like, it's just so thin that it's really, really difficult to have um, skincare products that don't just eat my skin up. So we're gonna go over all of those kind of treatments for the neck and decolletage. So that will be next Sunday at 11 a.m. Let's just do a little recap, okay? For those of you guys that are just joining, I've already done a peel. We're getting close to time here. I've already done the peel. I've rinsed it off. Um, I put on a, a some tinted sunscreen. And so you'll notice like around my eyes is a little pink right here because I personally get up as close to my eyes as I can. It helps with crow's feet, fine lines and wrinkles, you know, stimulates collagen, resurfaces. So why would you wanna stop here? I mean, you need to be safe about it, which is why I've got this super magnifying mirror, um, but I did get right up in there. So you'll see my eyes are a little bit more sensitive. And this just goes to show you, you, don't, you wanna make sure you're using the right peel for your skin. So if you have sensitive skin, 
the, in the aging category, so normal to combination skin in the aging category, you want to be using an, an alpha hydroxy um, acid. And those consist of three different types, depending on the size of the molecule. So your glycolic acids are the smallest molecule. Those will penetrate the deepest. Okay, so those will penetrate the deepest. Those are gonna be the most effective, but I wouldn't necessarily wanna do this on my the fragile skin of my neck. The next level up of the AHAs are the lactic acids. So the molecule is slightly bigger meaning it doesn't penetrate quite as deeply. So if you have sensitive areas, I might try the lactic acid on my neck and see, I'm gonna just do a test spot and see if this is gonna to be too, um, too strong for me, or I'm gonna order that mandelic acid. And that is the last category in the AHAs that have a bigger the biggest molecule. And so you have less irritation with that. It's more tolerable for people with sensitive skin. So that's the AHAs. BHAs. BHAs are for people that have oily to acne prone, it's combination oily or acne prone skin. It doesn't mean that you can't use them. I still use this all the time. This is my favorite, but all BHAs are salicylic acid. Those are the ones used in skin in skincare. So when you're looking for something um, for a uh, mask or for um, these kind of peels, and you're in that category of oily to acne prone skin, maybe even some combination, you wanna look for BHAs in, that are salicylic acid. Now, the ones that I love the most are the ones that are the combination. So this was the ordinary, this is the one that I just did. This is the AHA 30%, BHA 2% by the ordinary. So those combinations, give you the best of both worlds. So it's fighting fine lines and wrinkles. It's breaking those bonds like all acids. And so it's, it's breaking the bonds between the skin cells. And so you're resurfacing fine lines and wrinkles, discoloration, evens out skin tone and texture. There's a lot happening when you're combining the AHAs and the BHAs. And then the last was the PHAs, the polyhydroxy um, acids, but we did not get into those because those are the things that are normally in your skincare. Um, those are like in, in vitamin C serums and different serums will automatically have those in there for some exfoliation. Um, in terms of how often, if you're doing this for aging, so you're in the AHA, sometimes an AHA, BHA combo, sometimes a BHA, if that's where you're doing this, you, you can go two or three times a week. I would say two times a week. So you wanna do your retinoids for three days, throw in a peel, and then no, take your, a break of your skincare, and then your retinoids for three days and throw in a peel. That's kind of my system of what I do. You can also pick certain days of the week, so like a Tuesday and a Saturday, and just know that those are gonna be your peel days. But you really wanna make sure that you're tailoring your skincare to your skin type. This is not the time to cheat off your neighbor's paper. You know, just because something works for them does not mean that it works for you. So you wanna be very deliberate in what you are trying to treat. Okay, um, and then in terms of cautions, yeah, you can, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong here. Okay, so if I were to put a glycolic acid on my neck, which is very dry and very thin, it is gonna eat it up. It's gonna disrupt that skin barrier, which takes a long time to repair. So you can't just like screw up your skin barrier and then put a cream on it, it's gonna be fine. Like I've messed my skin barrier up before on my neck and it's taken me almost two weeks to get it back to where it's like, okay, I'm back to square one now, I'm normal again. So start small. If you have never done a peel at home, you might wanna start with like a lactic acid, right? Which has a slightly bigger molecule than the glycolic acids. You might wanna start with a mandelic acid that's even a larger molecule and then work your way up to the glycolic acids that have like the smallest molecule and are the most effective. However, when you're doing this for acne, if your skin is oily prone and acne prone and you're using a BHA, which by the way, you can still use this. I still use this all the time. Um, a lot of the best um, acne medications 
treat wrinkles. So if you're using the BHAs, these can be tolerated every day. So if you've got acne or acne prone skin, you may want to be incorporating these on a daily basis. So that's it. Um, over irritation. You're, if you're over irritating, you're not using the right one. Make sure that you're using a sunscreen particular, uh, perfect, my God preferably a tented sunscreen like the Ilia or like the Alta MD that's a tented sunscreen because you're going to get more protection. And yeah, uh, make sure you're washing everything off. The photosensitivity only really happens with the AHAs, so you're not going to be extra photosensitive to the BHAs, which are the salicylic acid. I don't have anything else. Are there any more questions? Who makes the cleanser? This is by the Perfect Derma. I, I, I'll try to get the, um, Gina, if you just uh, direct message me, I'll get you the website. They make a very strong chemical peels um, that they sell to, to different uh, uh, meta spas, but their cleansers are, this is really, really amazing. This has azelaic acid. Now, azelaic acid is one of a, another alternative for a retinoid. So it is in the retinoid field. Um, and so it does help to exfoliate. So I love this, the Perfect Cleanser. I actually use that on my whole body as well. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll and see if there's any other questions. Mm -mm. Okay, I have it, but it's color matching. Oh, so, so if you're not, I mean, I always suggest, instead of trying to order stuff like this, somebody just said they're having trouble with the color matching. This comes in like 50 different shades go into like Sephora or someplace like that where they actually carry it and, and do a, a test sample because this like goes, like this is the only thing I put on my face right now. Now I still have redness around my eyes because I did get close to my eyes with this peel. And um, so that skin around the eyes is a little bit different, but I, I like to be able to be effective and I'm fine with a little bit of redness that's gonna stay there for you know a couple hours. It'll, it'll go away by the time that I go to sleep. Okay, what do you feel is the first product we should buy? Um, that's a great question, Gina. Okay. I mean, if you're gonna be super, super safe, I, I really love this Paula's Choice. Um, this is just 2% BHA. That's a great question. But I would do this and maybe the lactic acid, which is one step down from the the AHA 30% BHA 2% but you're going to love this product you just need to make sure it's not going to be too strong for you um, it is for at home use and you just have to really read the instructions do not use this for more than five minutes when it says five minutes rinse it off rinse it off after five minutes um, and then afterwards you do not want to use anything harsh like a retinoid, a tretinoin, nothing like that. Just throw on a little bit of, like, of, of hyaluronic acid or like a moisturizer, an unscented, you know, a, like a really pure kind of moisturizer and just leave it alone. Don't try to do any other treatments. You could throw on a red light therapy mask because that always helps with healing. But you really just want to let the, the peel do its thing. Um, so that was, that's where I would start. So I didn't really answer your question, Gina. Sorry. I would do these <laughs> because this is like, this is non irritating and your skin is going to just shine like crazy afterwards. I love this. It's, it's great for anti-aging, but also acne prone. This is an AHA, the lactic acid, which is not quite as strong as a glycolic acid. So if you're new to peeling, you might want to start here. But this is going to be your new best friend. Um, yeah, this is a, an absolute game changer when done consistently, which is start with once a week, get up to twice a week. This is a game changer. You're going to love it. And that's the ordinary um, AHA 30%, BHA 2%. Okay, um, where should you buy? You can get them at Sephora. Um, I tend to like to, to shop at places where you can actually see the suns, the, the products instead of buying them from Amazon. I do have a link in my Amazon store um, or in my link tree, you'll see the Amazon icon. It is in my Amazon store, but I just feel safer getting things directly from, um, from a store than I do 
on Amazon because there are a lot of counterfeit products. Um, so that's just my own personal thing. Uh, why are you so naturally beautiful? Oh my God, so sweet. Hey, it sort of looked like you didn't get it all washed off. Are you sure? I got it all washed off. What you're seeing around my eyes is this is a difference in skin, right? So my skin here is thicker, but I decided I want to get right up as close as I could to the eye while still being safe. And so what you're seeing is this pinkness around my eye. That's a result of the peel. So for me, that's like, I, I got a good, I got a good treatment. Okay. I think that's it. You guys, I think that that was a good recap. Does Trent, uh, does Trent know in thinnest skin? Okay. So we're back to where we are before. I'm so glad to see everybody. Um, if you haven't invited your three friends, you still have a tiny bit of time because I'm going to wrap this up. Um, you still have a tiny bit of time to invite them now. Um, that's the first step in getting into the drawing for the Perfect Derma cleanser and their hyaluronic acid with peptides and their sunscreen. This is what is up for grabs. Tag three people once I post this to my feed. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next week at 11 where we will talk about how do you um, anti-age your neck and decolletage. So I'm gonna give a bunch of different treatments. I'm probably gonna microneedle. I'm probably gonna do some radio frequency. We're gonna do some skincare. We're gonna do some masks. There's gonna be a lot going on again. I'll see you guys next week.